Are you feeling like you're being ignored? That every time you send that little text just to get an emojicon back or a thumbs up or nothing? A lot has to do with the energies that is going on in our atmosphere. If you've been feeling like this, I highly recommend to watch this video to the end. Many times you don't realize it, but there's a lot of sensitivity. And I'm not talking about being sensitive like somebody told you something and, and it made you feel bad. No, you're feeling something and you know something and you can tell that something's about to happen, but then it doesn't. You wonder why every time you call or you text or you even just try to make a little nudge on, you know, on a, on a post, a certain post, nothing. You've been feeling like you're being left on red and you're also seeing that they're watching your stories. There's a lot happening in our atmosphere. Like I said, something is going on and you're feeling it. You don't understand why it's the way it is, but it's like you did something and you don't know what you did. You wonder why are they not coming towards you to talk to you? And you see them talking to other people, maybe on someone else's feed or liking, and you know they're active. It's time to put the strength more into yourself and not into the relationship. This card is telling us, focus on yourself, focus on what you need. You know, when you have this positive atmosphere around yourself, we call this an aura. Yes, an aura is very important in making people see us for what we are on the inside. Did you ever notice you could be like dressed to the nines, you can look your best and like nobody even noticed. What is that? This is a time to manifest. Manifest what you're looking for. Manifest what you need. Manifest what's in your heart. We talk about manifestation. You want this relationship to work? Well, start believing in yourself. Start believing into the, what your heart is telling you. You know that there is something more between you and this person. You can feel that connection. You know that there is a connection. Even though people might say, oh, I don't think so, or you're getting fears, you're getting doubts, you're bringing stuff from the past into this relationship, and you just don't want to have it anymore. You want to cut the ties. Your wishes are going to be granted. You will have what you want. The wishes will happen, but you have to believe. Believe, focus, and say it with positive light. In other words, positive affirmations every day. When you have a positive outlook, guess what happens? Positive energy. The passion comes back. You start to see, wow, people are starting to notice me. Hmm, the opposite sex or the same sex. It's like, you're like uh, contagious with this, this, this presence of light and it has nothing to do with the physical, okay? Physical is just the skin on top, but what's beneath it, telling you, it is gorgeous, it is amazing, but sometimes we have this mask up and we don't realize why that person sees us as someone else because maybe they have some excess baggage. Sometimes there's excess baggage between you both and you know what? Nobody's clearing it. So how in the world are you both going to get together? Use your intuition. Your intuition is telling you something. Maybe you need to start doing things for yourself. Maybe you need to start taking um, a day off and, you know, focus on, you know, me time. When I say me time, it's, you know, it's a time when you, you know, go get a massage or go to the gym or maybe just chill out and, you know, watch Netflix all day, whatever it is, okay? It's me time. It belongs to you. You're not taking enough time for yourself. You're self-sabotaging your the, the happiness inside of you. They're seeing it. He or she, you know, you have a you have a strong bond there. You know, there's passion. You can feel it. It's like it's it's amazing. But what everything that's happening in the world right now, you can feel it because you're highly sensitive. You can even feel their energy. They can feel your energy. So it goes back and forth, and that's not what you want to do. You really want to keep it amongst yourself. You really want to keep it down. You need to keep your energy grounded. This is what we call being grounded. If you're not grounded and if you're not at peace with yourself, you're always going to find you're always looking for something and you can't find it. And that, that goes for a lot of people. You might get involved with someone. You might feel they're like, you know that they really are into you and they, and they possibly are, but you know what? They have the same kind of fear you have. And you guys keep just going through this like high, slow, high, low. And guess what happens? You always find yourself like this, right? So what's the sense of even carrying a relationship, any relationship, when you know that it's going to work out, you can feel they really have this, this, this love for you. You know that there's love there, but when there's no love for yourself and when you're always taking things from the past, um, you're bringing it back. 
you know, this is why it just keeps going, you know, in a, in a circle, you know, like a cat, you know, running after their tail or a hamster on the hamster wheel or us, you know, when we just keep going around in circles in our life. Don't let it happen. Stop it while you can. Stop, stop self-sabotaging love and they will stop self-sabotaging self love at the same time because when you're connected to someone, you know, you knew that this relationship was going to work at the start. You felt it. You know it. You can sense it. Sometimes you need a little extra guidance, um, and that's something that, you know, like I advise to everybody. We all get guidance. I do offer phone chat and email readings, and the link is down below in my description area. I have several blogs and videos that you can check out. Um, but, yeah, you have to just focus on what is truth, and that's inside yourself. Um, so yeah, I hope this reading video resonated with you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Until next time, God be with you all. Namaste.